That's called a stage whisper. Deepak Chopra, Daily Rituals, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. That's a book that Deepak wrote that I was so very fortunate to come upon many, many years ago when I was in that situation, all the credit cards were maxed out. I was working two or three jobs in LA, depressed. You know what I mean, right? Life wasn't going the way I planned. Luckily, I met somebody on my path who asked me a very important question. He said, Bernard, do you know where you're at? And I looked at him and I'm, I'm inside his bar. He owned a bar in Los Angeles. I'm like, I'm in your bar. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, do you know where you're at? And I'm like, dude, st you're freaking me out a little bit right now, right? This is the internal dialogue that was going on inside my head. Until finally I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, I know where you are. And I looked at him and I'm like, who is this? It felt like, you know, Gandalf from Lord of the Rings was coming through him or something and speaking to me. And he said, you're lost. And I took that in and, and my, my little ego was like, you know, like, you know, bitching up and everything when I heard that. And I said, you know what? You're right. Because that's exactly how I felt. I felt like I had no power. I didn't know what my next move was. I didn't know how things were happening. I didn't know why things were happening. I didn't know why I was frustrated. And he said... Bernard, he goes, here's a book that I keep with me at all times. I must have read it over 200 times at this point. And it was the book by Deepak Chopra, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Now, I got that book and I was so determined. I read it, I probably read it like five times, you know, right out of the gate. And what it did for me was it gave me, it, it made sense in regards to what was happening to me at that moment. Because as I was reading the seven principles and I was starting to understand that I was not applying any of them and I wasn't even really aware of them, okay? I started to see how this could help guide my life and help me to, in essence, communicate with everything around me. And up until that point, I had a very I would say a negative or a very fearful way of communicating with everything around me. And actually, I guess you would say my relationship with everything outside of me was not good, right? This book helped me. I applied everything. It made sense. It, it spoke to me in the way of here's some principles, here's some guidelines do these very specific things on a daily basis and think about them, contemplate them, look and see how your world is changing after you apply them. And let me tell you, life did change and it got a lot better. And an interesting part of the story is years and years later, I think it was like about a decade later, I ended up having an opportunity to hang out with Deepak. And I actually told him this story. <laughs> and it was just him and I, and there was a bunch of food around and wine and, and, and just, you know, a nice spread. And we just reaffirmed these things. And, you know, it just, it brought it all together. And it's, you know, there's been many influences over the years, as I'm sure you guys, you know, have many influences in your life. But I can say that that one book by Deepak, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, really helped me on my journey and I think it'll help you on yours too if you pick it up so you know I'm here for you until we speak again